Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Don from JFM Development. And today, I have some very exciting e liquids to review. They just came out from the Zen Vapor. It's peace and joy. So, let's get right into it. So guys, I have some very exciting news today. I went to the conference at Foxwoods this past weekend and I picked up some juices from the Zen Vapor. Now I've been searching out Dawn from the Zen Vapor for a while now. Uh, I really want to get my hands on his liquid, so I met him at the show. Let me add, he is a really down to earth guy. He's exactly like you see in some of these online live videos. He's very community active. So it really made me compelled to meet this guy and to get some juices from him. And what makes this even more special is he just released two new liquids into his Zen Vapor line, which is Joy and Peace. And he just released them at the conference. And I was lucky enough to get my hands on them, and that is Joy and Peace. So today, I wanted to do my first ever e-liquid review on the channel, hopefully more to come. I want to have a variety on this channel. So, yeah, I want to try Joy and Peace for you guys here today. And the awesome part about this is I have two matching aliens, because I just picked up another alien. And I got two matching RDAs, both Troll V2s, RDAs. And they both have brand new coils, brand new wicking. I have a uh, triple cord fuse claptons in both with cotton bacon wrap and it's all brand new so let's not waste any time let's first talk about the flavor profile of joy okay, so as you guys can probably see on your screen already there's going to be the flavor profiles kind of uh in a little slideshow just to help you guys out a little bit and if you miss anything i'm about to read here but first let's go over joy joy from the zen vapor is in quotations, deeper inner happiness. And it says, North Jersey diners are famous for their New York style cheesecake. The three inch high cheesecake was known far and wide for its creamy sweetness and buttery graham cracker crust. Joy is that same rich and creamy New York style cheesecake topped with blueberry compote, topped with a hint of handmade whipped cream. If you like cheesecake, then this will quickly become vape you crave. And it says it's a 70-30 PGVG blend. So that's interesting. If you guys know me, you know I love cheesecakes. That's one of the uh, mixes I always mix after. Uh, it's, it's one of my go-to vapes, one of my all-day vapes. That's actually what helped me quit smoking. It was a strawberry cheesecake. But for this one, this one is a blueberry cheesecake. I'm not mistaken. Yep. So this one is the blueberry cheesecake. And I just explained to you the description. So first what I'm going to do is, as I said, both the atomizers are the same. So it's going to be equal footing on both of these liquids. So this is Joy. I got a 30 ml bottle of Joy. On the bottle it just says the Zen Vapor right here. It says the Zen Vapor it has this Buddha figure which is really cool, and it says Joy. And then, if I can get the camera right, and then it has a mixed on date. It has a VGPG blend, it has three milligrams. And then if you look right here, it'll actually, it actually has a lot number on it. Well, it has a lot number right on the bottom, and then it has a warning on the bottom. It says, danger, this product may contain Nicotine and is forbidden to anyone under the legal age the smoking age and then blah 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 It's the same thing on everything. So you guys know what warnings look like as all the warnings It has batch numbers. It has the blend It has the mix on date, which is a really nice touch You know how old it is when it was mixed up So that's all the information the labels are great the labels are fine But honestly who cares about the labels what really matters is the liquid inside am I right? So first what I'm gonna do is I'll smell it What I'm smelling is I'm smelling creaminess. Definitely uh, some bakery notes and then a cheesecake base. So that's definitely all in there. Now I'm going to taste a little on my hand. Yep, it's very creamy. 
it has a very smidge, a very smidge of a sour note, which is nice, because sometimes people can feel like that's overpowering a little bit. So it's nice, it's creamy, it does have that cheesecake base. I can taste blueberries, blueberries are in there. And off the hand, it's not too sweet. You get those bakery crust notes, you get that graham crust on there too. Alright, so it tastes great off the hand. Let's put it in the RDA. Now, I might speed this process up just to, you know, make it faster for you guys. But I'm going to wick this on my freshly made RDA. Brand new coils, brand new wicking, and few, uh, triple core fused Clapton's. Alright, so I am all juiced up. I got vapors, now I'm just gonna put the cap on and we're gonna give this bad boy a go. I'm gonna vape this on. So my triple core fuse claptons are ohming out at 0.11 ohms and I'm vaping at 130 watts on my Troll version 2 RDA. So here we go, cheers. This is the Zen Vapor Joy. It's supposed to be a blueberry cheesecake. Vapor production is definitely there. You're getting a 70-30. It even seems a little bit more than 70-30. So the vapor production is there. So if you're if you're all about the vapor and the thick and richness of the vape, you got that here. The nicotine is very clean in here. I'm not getting any uh, nasty throat hit. Uh, it's not peppery, so it's clean nicotine. Definitely well done there. And it's good. All right, so coming from a mixer's perspective, because a lot of my opinion on e-liquids are going to be based off a mixer's perspective, opposed to maybe just the average consumer's perspective. Uh, I don't know if that's a better thing or not, but here's what I think of it. The first thing I'm going to say is it's a very well-balanced e-liquid, okay? It's not too harsh. You can pick out the little individual notes in here. It's almost like you can actually taste the layers, which is very interesting. And, and that, that shows a very well put together recipe. He has a really well uh, put together cheesecake base here. And it's it's nice. It, it has a nice bakery note in it. You definitely get that graham crack crust in there. It's excellent. It's pronounced. It's not overbearing, but it's pronounced. So you know that crust is there. Then you have this beautiful, beautiful creamy note in there, okay? And that creamy note is definitely probably like uh, some sweet cream mixed up with a couple other creams that are in there. It's a very well put together base. It's not too creamy, but it's creamy enough for you to know it's a cheesecake. Now let's talk about the blueberries. Now blueberries, if you actually mix or you've had blueberry vapes in general, you probably no blueberry is a very hard flavor to get especially get it right a lot of times blueberries can taste chemically or they can taste soapy and it's hard to find a very well put together balance without getting overbearing in here it's nice it's a very bright blueberry it's and again it's it's well balanced it's not too much of anything it's not too much cheesecake it's not too much crust it's very well balanced it's smooth throughout gets just amount of uh blueberry with the cream the cream cheesecake base and then you get the crust a little bit at the end which is how a cheesecake should be a uh, graham cracker crust should be like an afternoon but that blueberry it's nice it's a bright blueberry it, it's it's a little bit sweet, but not sweet where it's overbearing. This whole mix doesn't taste like it's oversweetened at all. It tastes like a, a nice medium. I really like this one. Um, I definitely am a cheesecake lover, so this one is definitely my profile. Now, uh, I think I'm going to rate my e-liquids differently than I rate, like, say, a flavor. Um, normally, I give, like, two thumbs up if it's a good flavor, one thumb up if... Uh, it's a flavor that's not really necessary, but might be okay, and a thumbs down if I totally don't suggest it. That's how I do my flavors. Now, how I'm going to do my uh, e-liquid, I'm probably going to do it in a five-star format. Uh, Three-star would probably be if, like, it's not balanced, it, the recipe kind of needs some work, or it's not in my flavor profile. 
Probably a four star would be like everything's great, but it's probably not to the flavor profile. And a five star is something that I would definitely vape all day. It's a great, well-balanced flavor. It's exactly what it says it is and all that mumbo jumbo. So honestly, I would have to say the first one, five stars. This one gets five stars, definitely. The vapor production's there. It is the 70-30, there's no doubt about it. It's not an oversweetened mix, which a lot of people love. It's well-balanced, it's creamy, it tastes like a cheesecake, it tastes like an excellent blueberry cheesecake. This would be a recipe that I would personally go after mixing, and that comes up, that that's a big thing coming from a mixer because there's a lot of junk juice out there, and this is definitely not one of them. It, this would be a recipe and a mix that I would go out and buy myself, and actually, I literally did buy these myself. None of these were given to me. This one actually was a sample, but this one I paid for, and then he gave me a sample, but I went out to buy these. I searched these out from Dawn because I've heard nothing but good stuff, and... Uh, I knew he was a mixer before he, he was a DIYer before he was uh, a commercial distributor. So I definitely want to check him out and I would definitely have to give Joy a 5 star rating. This is an excellent flavor and i probably vape this in no time at all. I got this like day ago, I just cracked this open today and I'm already like almost one third gone of it. So it should tell you exactly how much I love this one. Also, if you're interested in any of this, the uh, website is on the screen, as you guys can see. And he's always running deals, like uh, he free upgrades you sometimes and all that stuff. You'd have to go onto his website or get in contact with Don on his Facebook page about more about that. But he'll definitely throw you a good deal. All right, so let me clear my palette and go down to the next one. Okay, the next one I'm really excited for because we're doing peace, okay? So let me tell you exactly what peace is. Peace from the Zen Vapor is pretty much exactly the same thing, but strawberry, okay? So again, it says, uh, North Jersey diners are famous for their New York style cheesecake. The three inch high cheesecake is known far and wide for its creamy sweetness and buttery grim cracker crust. Peace is rich and creamy New York style cheesecake topped with strawberry combo and a hint of handmade whipped cream. If you like the cheesecake, then then you'll quickly become the vape you crave. And again, it's a 70-30 VGPG. So again, Peace is pretty much the same thing as Joy. So it's the same base, same all that, but it has strawberries in it. So it'd be really interesting to see how you nailed down the strawberry in this. And because it's especially interesting to me because strawberry cheesecake is exactly the profile that got me off smoking cigarettes. So it's one I constantly mix up when I personally perfected in my own arsenal. So it'd be really nice to see how he went about it. I love seeing how other mixers go about uh, similar flavor profiles that I go after. So it's very interesting. And it makes it even more interesting because I get to use my new green alien that I got. Ain't she a beauty? It's, it's awesome. I love the alien, but the first one had paint issues. So I got this one and it's green. And I had to get a matching troll because that's my favorite RDA and it's cheap. But again, everything's the same. Same RDA. Same brand new coils. I put brand new coils in for Dawn. I want to give his liquids a fair shot, a fair shake in this review. So brand new coils, brand new cotton, brand new RDA, and brand new mud. So Dawn is getting a five star treatment here. All right. So and not not only that though, the guy's a really good guy. I got into a huge conversation with him at the meeting talking about mixing and stuff like that and how he goes about mixing his flavors and stuff like that he's a really awesome guy not just on videos i know i probably said that already but i was just surprised when i met him i didn't expect him to be such a down-to-earth guy so don if you're watching this you're an awesome dude it was nice talking to you anyways so you know the profile says strawberry cheesecake let me smell it Yep, so I'm definitely getting uh, the cheesecake base, the same as uh, Joy. It's, you got that creaminess, a very nice creaminess. You're getting that graham crust, definitely you can smell that. Definitely the cheesecake base, definitely, and then you can smell those strawberries. That lo It smells like a lovely strawberry mix. I, I definitely probably know exactly the strawberries used in here, and they're all ones that I would use. So that's definitely a plus for me. Like when a mixer goes out and uh, makes almost the same kind of profile as you would get at the store, you know you're getting good stuff.
Because a lot of mixes don't end up going back, but when it's worth it, they do. Mm. That's good. So again, I get the creaminess off the hand. I get the strawberry. Strawberry tastes very good. It tastes like exactly like sugary syrup strawberry with uh, real strawberries on top. It tastes exactly like if you were to get strawberries on top of your cheesecake. No lie. It tastes exactly like that. Now let me clear my palate before I ape it. Gotta love that Mountain Dew. Not a sponsor. But if you want to become a sponsor, I definitely do it. <laughs> Just kidding. Who, who wouldn't love free Mountain Dew? Alright, so I'm gonna drip this. I might speed this process up to not bore you. Alright, so we're all dripped up. Again, it has the same kind of label. It says the Zen Vapor. It has the nice cool Buddha guy on there. It says Peace. And then it has uh, the mixed on date, the VG, PG content, the milligrams. And then it has a lot number on the bottom. So you know if you, you got a certain batch. And it has the warnings on the bottom. So you pretty much have everything you need to know right on there. Now I'm just going to throw the cap on my Troll V2. Again, I'm using triple core fused Clapton's. They put... Brand new O-rings. What a fit. Okay. So, again, this is triple core fused Clapton's on my uh, Alien Smock Mod on my Troll version 2 RDA. And we are vaping it at 130 watts. Brand new, nice green mod. This, this thing is so awesome. My favorite mod. Okay. So, here we go. Zen Vapor. Peace. Strawberry Cheesecake. Cheers. Oh, yeah. This stuff right here. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Again, vapor production. Wonderful. Perfect 70-30. Again, it's getting plenty of vapor. The VG he's using is good. I actually know exactly what VG he's using, and it is premium VG. It's actually the VG I use. Okay, so. This mix, again, I'm getting graham cracker crust on the end. So it, it's, it's definitely a well-balanced strawberry cheesecake mix everything's well balanced and then you get a little bit of the crust at the end see the crust isn't as more pronounced as the cheesecake and the strawberry and the cream base and that's a very important thing when you're coming to making a cheesecake you don't want the graham cracker to be too much that way you're just vaping a graham cracker with strawberry maybe a little cream you want a cheesecake so you want that at the end which is what i'm getting here then you're getting you're getting this this nice and i'm not going to be that one that's like on the inhale i get this on the exhale i get that because honestly i had this thing on my channel where i was like oh i see reviewers talking about how to get certain things on the inhale and how they get stuff on the exhale me and i took a poll and it's not unnormal i get most of my stuff on the exhale okay so that's how i'm going to tell you i'm going to be real with you guys so, again, on the inhale, I'll, I'll try a few guys, all right? Yeah, everything's on the exhale. For me, everything is always on exhale no matter what I'm vaping, okay? So, so let's just snub that in the butt right there. So anybody leaving comments about, oh, what do you get on the inhale? I'm not one of those vapors. I don't know. Anyways, but on the exhale, I'm getting that nice, creamy cheesecake base. I'm getting... Uh, strawberries, a beautiful, beautiful strawberry mixture, and again, it's well balanced. It's it's a nice strawberry with uh, sugary strawberry drizzle. It's not it's not um too sweet where it coats your mouth and that's all you have in your mouth is sugar. You don't have that here. It's a nice, well balanced. You get a punch of strawberries, nice strawberry blend, and you get that creaminess going through, and then you get a little bit of graham cracker on on the end on the end of the exhale and it is phenomenal it's definitely a well balanced this one is gonna go faster than the blueberry one if i would have to rate this one compared to joy 
piece would definitely get a leg up. I would actually probably give this uh, five and a half stars, just a half star because this is more of a flavor that I would go after and prefer. Piece is definitely an all day vape. Definitely. You could get this stuff dirt cheap from Dawn. He will hook you up. He will upgrade you. I think if you get a I think if you get a 60 mil, he'll give you a 120 or something. I, I don't know. You're going to have to talk to Don about his sale prices. I will leave a link in the description to the Zen Vapor, but this one is definitely a 5.5 star. The the P, uh, the Joy is a 5 star. Both excellent. Again, all smooth. No problem with nicotine. The flavors are premium. I actually know some of the flavors that are in there because I use them personally in my own mixes. But he has a very good cheesecake base in here that I'm probably going to try to mimic for my own personal end because I kind of like how he did it. And that's the perfect thing about trying. Even if you're a DIYer watching my channel, there's nothing wrong with going out and buying commercial e-liquid when you want to get like a little refresher or like some ideas on what's out there and stuff like that and definitely the zen vapor would be one of the guys i would go not only because he has reasonable prices but because he also has very well balanced put together recipes that aren't just uh sweetened down just to cover up mistakes or anything like that so go check out donna the zen vapor he's an awesome dude these recipes are definitely something that I'm going to be vaping for a while and probably will try to mix up something similar because that's that's the best form of flattery, you know, trying to go after a certain profile that you really love, and I love these flavors. So, again, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or any questions about this e-liquid, leave in the comments below. I'd definitely be glad to answer them. Now, if you're a DIYer and you need anything like bottles, PG, VG, or flavors, links as always are in the description. Those are affiliate links, but what those do is those help uh, support the channel and help us grow. And, yeah, that about wraps it up. Thank you guys so very much for watching. You guys have yourselves a great day. Peace.